We need background checks. We need to raise the minimum age to purchase an AR-15 rifle to 21. We need a waiting period for those rifles. We need red flag laws and consequences for those who abuse them. These are reasonable, practical, tactical regulations. Responsible gun owners are fed up with the Second Amendment being abused and hijacked by some deranged individuals. Now look, is this cure-all? Hell no. But people are hurting. Families are, parents are. And look, as, as, as divided as our country is, this gun responsibility issue is one that we agree on more than we don't. An emotional appearance clearly at the White House briefing room yesterday afternoon. Matthew McConaughey, a native of Uvalde, Texas, calling for new bipartisan action on gun control. Fox News contributor Jason Chaffetz, resident of Utah here in New York, and good morning to you. The point he made at the top of that speech is that his mom was a school teacher down the street and that he explained at the age of 10 how he got his first BB gun and how he was brought up in the gun culture. What did you think of the presentation? What do you think the effect could be or not? on the senators right now are talking about this behind Well, I, I think it was very real. I don't think that was acting. I think that was from the heart, and I think it reflects what a lot of people are feeling, which is the, the sadness and the frustration and, the, and just the outrage of this. And so I thought it was a good presentation. And I got to tell you, I think there should be more debate and discussion. I happen to be a conservative, a Republican. I'm a lifetime NRA member. I have six guns. I got three handguns, two, shot, uh, two rifles, and a shotgun. And I'm tired of these people who think that just putting more laws on me is going to solve the problem. But as a Republican and as a conservative and somebody who believes in the, the congressional process, we should go out there and have this debate and discussion because all too often, these things go off in directions they have no idea, usually by people who have never shot a gun, don't own a gun, don't understand guns, and certainly don't understand the current laws that are on the books. McConaughey joined uh, Brett Baer on Special Report last night talking about meetings he had on Capitol Hill. Watch here. You think that this is somehow different? Because we've been through right. this before. Yes. I, I've yes, covered sir. a lot of them. Yes, sir. So, look, I don't have anything to compare it to up here on the Hill, but the consensus word that I'm hearing and phrase is that this time is different, that there is some more momentum, that on the right there are some things that they're willing to not staunchly say no to and consider. It becomes a little bit too much of a nation of counterpunchers. Well, I'm not sure what I'm about, but I'm telling you what, I'm not against, I'm against you, I'm against you, whatever he's about. Anyway, what's he about? Oh, I don't know, but I'm against it. That's not how, that's not a way forward. It's not a vision. That's not going, hey, we disagree on this issue, but you, father? Oh, yeah. Hey, me two too. boys. Me too. Yeah. Now, I bet you and I can get something done talking about being dads and giving a, giving a damn about our kids and their futures. So you were on Capitol Hill for a long time as a yeah. congressman. What do you think about the prospects of legislation this time around? Well, I think McConaughey is right. But, and again, just because I'm a Republican, I don't want this to be dismissed. Ron Johnson, a senator, had a bill on the floor of the Senate 24 hours after this attack. It was intended to create a... a department there within Homeland Security of best practices, how to deal with mental health, how to deal with securing schools, how to, how to get grants to the people that need them. And Chuck Schumer, he got rid of it. He, he denied it. He didn't let it pass. 24 hours later, it was a bipartisan bill on best practices. Mm -hmm. They couldn't even agree on that. Was Schumer, Come on. Playing, was Schumer playing politics or does he want more in the legislation? I, I, and I, again, I, I've been there, I've seen it, I was in Congress for eight years. I think the Democrats like this issue, they don't want to actually solve it. How can you be opposed to, let's have a department that has best practices? Oh. Chuck Schumer evidently was. Here is more from McConaughey, and I, I, I think what he did is that he gave more humanity to this issue in Texas yeah. than we have seen from anyone, yeah. especially the president too, included, watch. Maite wore green high-top converse with a heart she had hand-drawn on the right toe because they represented her love of nature. Wore these every day. Green converse with a heart on the right toe. These are the same green converse 
on her feet that turned out to be the only clear evidence that could identify her after the shooting. Have our badge. 2018, Rick Scott, then the governor in Florida, they, they made a lot of changes to the law down there. Um, it used to be 18, raised to 21. No one can buy a firearm in Florida uh, unless you're 21. They put $400 million into mental health in Florida, school fortification, training programs for teachers and security guards, background checks, I do believe, and even a waiting period in Florida. Can any of this, any of this work at the federal level? Um, I, I hope so, because Matthew McConaughey, if you really listen to what he said, what I really liked about it, he talked about the breakdown of the family. He talked about the need to secure schools. He, needs to, he talked a lot about family values. And if Democrats are going to have a serious discussion about it, they got to be able to talk about those things as well. And I tell you, as a conservative, Republican, a gun owner, an NRA member, yeah, I'm willing to talk about should you have to be 21? Should you have a co-signer if you're 18 to 21 year old? Maybe you have to have another responsible adult co-sign with you to allow that because mm -hmm. that may have actually prevented what happened in Texas. So I think there are some things we should have a discussion about. But Democrats have got to come to the table, too, and say, yeah, breakdown of the family is a real issue in this country. Good to see you, Jason. Thanks Thank you. Here. Thank you. Thanks.